Mania, 5 Cures and Treatments What you can do to protect all concerned, when your loved one is experiencing a mania episode. The first thing to understand, and keep in mind is that the mania symptoms are beyond the person's ability to control. Enlist the aid of a counselor, therapist, or other advisor you trust to help you take advantage of the strategies listed below to protect yourself. 1. Exercise regularly There are many benefits to exercising regularly. Exercise can help with mood swings, and to maintain an average disposition. When combined with medicine, it can be one of your most important tools. Furthermore, weight gain may be a problem with the drugs used to help stabilize your mood. Therefore, exercise will help control the weight gain, and will improve self-esteem. 2. Take your medicine and see your doctor dash the person generally responds to treatment. If someone is consistently taking medication mood swings are easier to control. After an episode, a person could decide to stop taking the medicine. Time and time again this person is returned to the hospital for treatment. See your doctor regularly Seeing a doctor in a regular basis is important. There are two types of doctors that can help. A psychiatrist that will help you to adjust your medicine and a therapist that can help you fine-tune your mood and behavior. 3. A sex A person afflicted by a mania episode may be somewhat sexually overstimulated. A person exhibiting symptoms of mania episode sex may relieve tension. However, if a person is suffering a full-scale mania, wait until his her mood stabilize before having sex. Avoid high-risk sex decline invitations to join his her advances to perform misguided or high-risk sexual adventures. Drugs, alcohol and medicine do not mix well and could be very dangerous to a person's health. Also, high-risk behavior can be harmful, expensive and difficult to recover from if an injury occurs. Legal and problem with the law can are possible consequences. 4. Protect your finances There are steps you can take to try to minimize damage to your finances, property, or other assets should you have a manic episode. Ironically, the more you have, the more you can do to protect yourself, the less you have, the more you can lose. Avoid irresponsible spending by preparing before a mania attack occurs. A. Allowance Set up a system that provides you with an allowance. You can agree to have access to a predetermined amount of cash per week. A person suffering a mania attack will spend money like waters without any control. An allowance will lessen the possibility of large-scale irresponsible spending. B. Credit cards Avoid having access to multiple credit cards. Place a limit on the credit they provide. Also, you can have some safety precautions in place on any bank account you do have. Also, do not use credit cards belonging to others. C. Avoid writing checks. If you bounce checks, as the result of a manic episode, you will face high overdraft charges. Therefore, if you need to pay bills, work with your bank for strategy for paying bills. Use auto bill pay and maintain a budget. D. Requiring a cosigner before you can spend, sell, trade, or give away money or assets that exceed a predetermined amount. Use the services of an attorney, accountant, banker, or stockbroker about matters such as requiring the co-signature of a spouse or even a neutral third party. E. Limit your liquid assets. If most of your finances are tied up in investments, such as real estates, that you cannot access without third party intervention there are fewer liquid assets for you to waste in a frenzy of mania. 5. Advanced Written Instructions A Written Instructions AKA Advanced Directive is a legal document. It gives permission for another individual, such as a doctor or family member, to make medical decisions and ensure proper treatment, even hospitalization, in the event the signer has a relapse. Some states allow a person who is free of symptoms to sign such a document, spelling out how he wants to be treated, if symptoms pose a threat to his well-being. For instance, it is possible to define the kind of assisted treatment to be provided, who should provide it, and who should be responsible for the patient. This will become important when dealing with the police, doctors, and hospitals. A support system is very important when suffering a mania attack. However, the people around you need to be trained to identify and help the individual get the help he or she needs.